my name is Ira Sampat and I'm currently studying in GICLM's IVDP program. After my 12th grade, I was quite sure I wanted to pursue visual arts as a career. This was when I started looking out for different colleges and schools which offered this particular course. I came across GICLM as they offered the IV program. So I attended the two week induction program where I got enough clarity on how the visual arts is taught here and how the curriculum is. I figured that it was quite structured and just what I wanted. So for that, I mean, I met with Amit sir and he explained the entire process and I got to know that I would have a proper portfolio at the end of these two years. So for the portfolio, I had to decide for a theme. Uh, the theme that I chose was environmentalism. So all of the pieces that had to be in my exhibition were around that particular theme. From the two years, I had to select uh, approximately seven to 10 pieces for my final exhibition, which I would be graded upon. Uh, this exhibition was a final outcome of entire mediums and different processes, different artist studies and various different um, exposures to various subjects and learning which I had over the two years. Uh, GICLM was a really big, I mean, help for me in creating a portfolio and actually explaining to me how visual arts would uh, develop in the future. Since I come from a SSC background, this is a school where I did not have visual arts at all or any form of art and that is what I wanted to pursue. So with GICLM and Amitsa really helped me through my entire journey and right now I am sure with what I want to do and have a proper portfolio, have a proper understanding and basically just it was a really good experience and I have a proper portfolio right now which I am proud of and I want to thank GICLM and all the faculty that helped me. Now I will um, go through all of my artworks and show you what I've been doing in these two years and show you my exhibition. As I mentioned, the theme that I chose was environmentalism. This is because I wanted to explore a vast area of mediums and artist studies. So I thought environmentalism was the perfect subject since I would be studying the nature as well along with humans and I mean everything comes into place if I take environmentalism as a topic. Uh, to my benefit, COVID situation was also included in this since when I was in 12th, we came into this unfortunate lockdown. So a few of my pieces in my exhibition also revolve around that topic. And um, I think that when I came into GICLM and looked at everything and I was exposed, which is when I decided that environmentalism would be the perfect topic to work upon. And at the end, the portfolio that I would create would be really understanding of the social issues and what everything is happening around us. So now I shall uh, go through my entire exhibition and show you the pieces that I chose to depict in my 7 to 10 pieces of my exhibition, which I will be graded upon. So the first piece that I created was in my second year during the COVID situation. The name of this piece is Yodha Ma, which means warrior goddess. The inspiration of this piece was that giving a tribute to all the doctors and nurses who have been working for us and who've been a really big part in the, I mean, taking care of a society and humans. Uh, so what I decided to do was put doctors in the place of a god since Indians we worship gods and goddesses as the most supreme power and during this covid lockdown I mean people were worshiping, worshiping and looking up to doctors and nurses for the betterment of us. So I took uh, Raja Ravi Varma's painting who is the first artist that actually gave a human form to these gods. So I took one of his painting and just reimagined it and instead of the god I added a doctor's coat and basically gave a doctor avatar to that to show that how to show basically the importance of the doctors and nurses in this situation and this artwork is done on the iPad using the Apple pencil so it is a digital work and which I printed onto this canvas so the particular idea behind this was basically that so showing a tribute to these doctors and nurses and speaking about how they have been the most important in this lockdown. My next piece is using lino print making as a medium. Uh, as the title suggests, unlimited prints and limited animals. The basic idea behind this was to give, uh, spread awareness about the endangered animals. As you can see, I've chosen three birds, three mammals and three aquatic animals. So here, as I, I mean, the purpose of using print making as a medium was that the template that I created and carved out could be printed out multiple times and the number of prints we could receive are basically infinity but if we don't actually conserve and i mean take care of these animals they may be extinct one day and the prints will only be the ones that are left with us 
so this was the first time i was working with print making as a medium and i required quite a lot of assistance from my mentor as well and i really enjoyed uh, making this piece since it was a basically it was a new exposure and a new medium which i never planned on working with and uh, the basic idea that i wanted to depict through this is that conserve our animals and conserve the nature otherwise the pieces that we create are the only ones which will be left with us as a memory the next artwork that i have in my exhibition is a series of photography which i went to kala goda and shot uh, the name of this series is void so the basic idea behind this was showing again the lockdown and how corona actually affected us so kala goda is one of the busiest and most crowded places in mumbai and when i went to that place i actually saw that most of the places shops and everything was shut down so what i decided to depict through my photos was the negative impact of covid and all this situation that has been on the economy business and basically the public so all of these photos as you can see shops and everything have been shut down closed and evidently we can see that they don't have any intention of opening up again so the basic idea behind this was showing the emptiness and how the negative i mean how it has been negatively impacted upon us for the next series i drew um, portraits of various indian environmentalists as you can see all of them are really aged and old so they have been working since they were teens and really young for the betterment of our society and as i was looking for them i realized that they don't have enough uh, recognition in the media and the public don't actually know who these people are so as a tribute to them i wanted to draw out these portraits and basically show everyone how i mean these people have done betterment for our society and how today we have forests and vast areas of conserved land because of them this piece is also done digitally on the ipad with the apple pencil and i've printed these canvases out i plan on giving these canvases to them uh, by connecting to some ngo or maybe interviewer or something and i mean finding out the addresses and giving these prints to them to show a tribute and as a vote of thanks since they don't have enough recognition in the media heart bloom this particular piece is named heart bloom it is a hand embroidered piece onto the t-shirt basically what i wanted to show through this is that a planet should be in our heart in order for us to conserve our environment and all the good deeds we do should come from within us moving on we have mask on this basically illustrates how not only the humans but also the non living things can spread the virus during this pandemic if the virus lands on a particular area and a person touches it they would obviously contract the covid virus hence the masks are as a metaphor for a precaution and a reminder to always sanitize and take proper precautions during this lockdown this work is acrylic painted on a black canvas the next one is a tree of life made entirely out of macram threads this was also another medium which i had never worked with i looked at various tutorials and inspirations to come up with this piece and it is one of my favorite works The next painting is called Dead Ends. It is another uh, reimagination of an artist's work. I recreated the Mac Escher's artwork and made it look like it would be, and it would look as of today. The artwork uses his style of tessellation, which incorporates both negative and positive spaces to create these images. At both ends of the paintings, we see how humans and the population affects the environment. The fish below eventually die due to plastic waste in the ocean. and the birds above due to pollution this again is acrylic paint on white canvas the next one is named paper colise the main aim behind this piece was recycling so what i did is i went through various magazines lying around my house and found these colors tore those pieces and came up with this big collage of our planet earth i used mod podge to keep these pieces in place and came up with this piece which is again one of my favorites The next piece is named Mother Nature. I came across Julia Roberts video where she speaks about mother nature and she acts as mother nature and basically tells us what we should do to conserve and how difficult it will be if mother nature isn't a part of our lives. What I wanted to do is make a video animation for her voice over. So I took the mediums of clay and made it into sculptures of the earth and uh, shoot it in a uh, light box. These pictures are edited onto Photoshop and made it into a video. Uh, this was one of the pieces that took me the most amount of time. I can say I took approx 3,000 to 4,000 pictures for this, edited all of them, and made it into a video. 
Hello Vira. I'm really glad that I see when I see your exhibition. I'm I'm really feel proud that you have you made so many art. You want to say something about this? I would really like to thank you, obviously, and the entire I mean the curriculum because it was really structured and what I have today is a final exhibition and a portfolio which I can show people what I have done over these two years. Right. And I think I owe it to my parents that they helped me take this decision and put me into our IB school because of which I have taken many. decisions for myself and my, for my future any specific universities you applied yes so i applied to paris universities art universities and i got accepted into two of them oh great paris college of art and american university of paris and both of these are offering me scholarships as well okay. so fingers crossed i'm going to go to paris college of art and maybe will be in paris by september october i would like to congratulate you from my bottom of my heart definitely you have you made pro proud of us and I uh, wish you all the best for your future and I'm really glad that you are talking with you thank you so much sir